Hey, Graham Real, here we are basically at the halfway point of the 2023 season. You're on home ground. I still don't know why you're not using that uh, Ohio State helmet that you won in, what, was that 2017 here? Middle, 2015. Oh, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> uh, do you yearn for the good old days as you're back here at Mid Ohio Sports Car Course? I do. You know, I, I uh, you know, for me, I thought you know, 2015 was was uh, was a heck of a moment in my career, in my life, and uh, you know, wore the Buckeye helmet that year. The next year, I wore the full suit, if you remember. Yes. Uh, and helmet as well. I had a good run. Um, you know, but uh, I, maybe I need to bring it back, to be honest with you. Although I will tell you, all my guys will tell you too. That helmet was so popular, they couldn't pull out to the grid to pit lane without every single person in this place asking to see the helmet. It was like it was like seeing Ryan Day or something like that. So, um, you know, I don't know if we need that distraction necessarily either. So, so there's no big surprise this weekend for your headgear. No surprises on my side. Uh, you know, our focus is go out and do a good job. Period. Yeah. You know, and just yeah. uh, try to try to have a really solid weekend. I mean, it looks. Mother Nature doesn't look like she's going to be kind to us this weekend. And uh, this is probably the most challenging place you could ever run in in the rain. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, there's no hiding the fact that you had a difficult uh, month of May, uh, especially for the Indy 500 and stuff. And when you go through that as a competitor, you want to be, you want to win races. Yeah. It's been a while, but you want to win races. It's been a while for this team. Uh, wh what are y'all kind of like, I don't know, at this point in the season, what do you just trying to find you know what i mean uh, besides the obvious speed you know yeah i think you know it's it, right now is a lot of things um clearly speed is number one uh, speed is is tied in many ways to engineering uh and it's as i've said a number of times not that our engineers are bad i've won a lot with eddie jones who's my engineer i, I know eddie is plenty capable yeah our biggest thing is to discover what others have discovered over the last few years it's clear that we are behind uh, that we have not found a lot of the little knick-knacky stuff that other people have that are making a big difference. And so we need to we need to discover those things. That is hard to do in the middle of a season. Yeah. You know, it's like changing the defensive scheme for the Buckeyes. It's hard to do overnight. It takes a while to come up with a plan to make it better. It's the same here. So we're working through that, frankly. I do think that there's potential you know, for us to, to find that, that resolution and to be better. Um, but it's taken a lot of work. Uh, and so we, this next string of races, Mid-Ohio, uh, Toronto, Iowa, those are going to be critical races uh, for us to make sure that we're on the right track. Uh, as you and I speak here, it's before Prague, your first practice session uh, here at Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course for the weekend uh, for the Honda Indy 200. And our, it, when you get into the car, because this will be published probably about the same time you're racing this afternoon. When you get into the car, do you hope to be surprised? I mean, what, what do you hope? What do you yeah, hope to feel? Well, what I, I hope is to be right away competitive. Yeah. And you know, the changes in the way that we're setting up the car here is very similar to what we ran in Road America. Very similar to what we had success with the Indy Grand Prix. So for us, I think there's a lot of similarities in that. I also think between the three cars, myself, Jack, and Christian, that our plan is to try to test a lot of things today. We get 75 minutes. Uh, each car's got their plan. If we all stick to our plan, uh, then we should be able to find some things and at least get some direction, good or bad, right? Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, what we're trying to learn is the, pos the, the positives and the negatives. And so hopefully we can do that today. So uh, we'll see. If you all stick to your plan, why wouldn't you all all stick to your plan? Because you all want to be Sometimes it's top easy. dog, right? Sometimes it's easy to get derailed, to be honest with you. Sometimes. Yeah. You know, you go out there and the car has a major imbalance and all of a sudden you're in survival mode versus development mode. Yeah. And so we had that at Road America. We had a plan and unfortunately we didn't accomplish any of it at all. So uh, hopefully this time around we can. All right, last thing, when you, when you get in a car like this and like a, you know, we said you're trying to find speed and stuff, where where do you want to feel it? Like at Mid Ohio, where you, where do you want to feel something? Mid Ohio, different? it's all about consistency of balance. So what that means is, you know, here you've got a lot of elevation. So you don't want to be fighting the car in one way, one corner, and then the next corner you're going over the crest in turn nine, and you have something completely the opposite. You want it to be as consistent as you can across the high speed, the low speeds, and the elevation changes here. 
if you have a predictable car, as we call it in yeah. that regard, then you're going to be able to push harder. Yeah. Uh, and typically, you're going to go faster. So that's going to be our biggest challenge. I know I said last question, but you know I always have one yeah, more at least, course. right? But uh, can you explain to people, because you, you're an affable young man, you're approachable. Sometimes you wear your emotions on your sleeve, which yeah. is a good thing in my opinion. But how frustrating have the last several years been about not getting to victory circle? Yeah, I mean, it's- Or victory lane it's, or whatever it, it is. It, it is frustrating. You know, it is frustrating because, you know, deep down in the core, I feel that, you know, I can win. I know I can win here, period. But I also feel like there's no doubt I can compete with Dixon, Palo, Newgarden, all those guys. I know I can because I've done it before. And so when you're not doing it consistent, consistently, it's hard. I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. It's, it's hard to uh, to be in that position. But uh, at the end of the day, too, uh, you've got to be a leader for the team. Uh, you got to carry a positive attitude through everything and uh, try to make a difference. I think we are. I think we are improving. I think unfortunately it took a lot of very lows like Indy this year to get the improvement necessary. Um, but we'll get there.